We hope everyone's had an incredibly joyful holiday season. As we're coming up to the end of the year, there are a couple of quick reminders uh, that we like to give. And some of these we covered in an article, but uh, but I know that I, I want to re-emphasize a couple of these because they're very, very important. Uh, the first is one that we find uh, uh, gets forgotten quite a bit. And that's if you have an, a business entity structure that is different than just a simple sole proprietorship. So if you have a medical corporation, a personal service corporation, um, or even a, an LLC, see all of those have to be registered with IDFPR uh, because you are licensed and you're, you're, you're practicing license they actually also have to be registered simple process $50 a year but that has to be done by December 31st and it's something that gets missed quite a bit uh, so I would encourage you you can jump out to IDFPR.com you can go to our website do a quick search you'll see how exactly how that works and, and what you need to do but you need to make sure that you get that registration done uh, by the end of this week, which is the end of the year. Additionally, another big hard deadline uh, is your Medicare determination for your participation status. Uh, so if you're deciding to make a change in your participation status with Medicare, if you're changing from non-PAR to participating or vice versa, uh, then you have to do that by the end of the year or by the end of this week. And you can handle that all through the PICO system and, and uh, I'm not gonna go into the details of what the differences are there. If you have any questions, of course, that's why we're here. Uh, you can always give us a call. Other key things to watch out for as we come into the new year, uh, as you probably have been searching for affordable health care, so have your patients. Uh, they may have changed plans, so you wanna make sure that you verify uh, that, uh, that their insurance hasn't changed. Uh, and with their cards as we come into the new year. And additionally, this is your opportunity uh, to really take a look at all of your PPO contracts that you have signed or any of those that may positively impact your, uh, your practice as well. So you wanna review the ones that you currently have to see, is this still, does this still make business sense? Uh, do I still have the patient base that makes business sense to continue in this contract? Does the fee schedule still meet my needs? Uh, does it still uh, fulfill what I hope it fulfills, or you, not me, but it is what you hope it fulfills for you and your practice from a business sense? And then do the same thing for any new contracts as your patients begin to shift and potentially have new health insurance uh, beginning January 1st. So now is a good opportunity to begin to do that review uh, um, in the early months of 2018. Uh, these are just three quick hits and uh, three reminders of important things and and uh, we hope you have had a tremendous 2017 uh, from the Illinois Chiropractic Society staff from our leadership team I want to wish you a happy new year and we'll catch you next week